And when I... Okay. Okay, okay, okay. This is what I'll do. Okay, I'm going to get a drink of water. <laughs> and then I'll, I'll show you guys what I was talking about earlier. So, these Eldar models, they're just about 20 years old or, or thereabouts. And uh, like I said, uh, this was the new hotness when I bought them. I was really excited to try them out and, and paint them, work on them, uh, and build an Eldar army with these new cool models, right? Uh, when I got them, I kind of put together a few and lost interest uh, very soon after <laughs> for whatever reason I don't know it just seemed like I don't know I, I kind of like painting fantasy miniatures more like orcs and goblins and knights and stuff maybe that's part of it here's an example of the one that I finished and actually you can see here uh, talking about it before the gems the little gems everywhere I painted every single freaking gem uh, on the chest here on the shoulders on the forearms on the on the shuriken catapult that's what this is called by the way the shuriken catapult uh more gems on the back blah 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 gems 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 and it ends up kind of being like overall when you look at this model from a distance i don't think it'll make too big of a difference you're not really going to notice but by that same token why even bother trying to paint all these gems in the first place if Again, you're not really going to notice. That's kind of what I settled upon. That it just takes far too long to do all of that. Maybe for special characters, I'll, I'll work on the gems. But for your typical grunt troopers, I don't think I'll bother with that. So yeah, these, are, <laughs> these models, I'm only getting around to painting them now. Because... Uh, before Christmas, in the lead up to Christmas, Games Workshop revealed that they're making brand new Eldar Guardian models, thus retiring these 20-year-old sets. Uh, so I salute you for, for, their, for their time and their service. 20 years. Uh, and the new models look good. They, they are very similar to this, just with... Um, yeah, they just look more crisp and better detailed and stuff like that. So yeah, new Eldar models. But the reason why I'm, I'm bringing this up is that I actually have models that are older than 20 years old than these 20-year-old guys. I have models from the 80s. These are absolutely ancient, these ones. And they're metal. These are the Eldar Guardians that preceded these ones. So they're probably anywhere between 30 to like 40 years old or something like that. Mm, probably around the mid-30s. And yeah, as I said, these are metal. So, so they're a little heftier, but I kind of like that, that heft about metal models. <laughs> and you can see that there's some similarity between these, these, and the, these old ones and the new ones. Uh, I say new, they're, they're not new, they're 20 years old, right? And if you just pay attention to the, to the shape of them, not the color scheme, the eye shapes are kind of the same, the way that the opening for the face part works, except the metal one has a kind of grill, I guess. And the shape of the head is very different in terms of like how eventually um, Games Workshop sort of settled on this conical pointed helmet for the Eldar. So many Eldar models have that conical look to it, to their helmets. But for these guys, and these are Guardians, I looked into it. I wasn't sure if they were uh, Dire Avengers. That's a that's a, a more elite troop, t troop type for the Eldar. Uh, but no, I'm pretty sure that they're just Eldar Guardians. Um, the Dire Avengers, by the way, have this crest, kind of very Roman-like. But yep, these are also Eldar Guardians. Older, the older version. And this is the same weapon, it's the Shuriken Catapult, but you can see how the design of the, the Shuriken Catapult has evolved over the years, too. This design here is, like, stubbier, 
and there's a kind of um, there's a kind of canister uh, that I assume the shurikens are are held within, and then they're launched that way. And there isn't any kind of canister like that for the for the modern design, modern quote unquote, because <laughs> it's not modern. And I painted both of these models with the intent that they were going to come from a specific craft world, the uh, the Alaytok craft world, and their color scheme is is more or less this, with a uh, it's it's this dark blue with yellow helmet, and it's a little hard to see, but there's kind of like a camo pattern that I painted on, kind of like a urban digital camo, is that what they call it? And it's here on this model as well. But again, it's very hard to really see. And that's the reason why I've decided not to even bother doing that with these guys. With the rest of the models that I'm doing now, I am I am not going to bother <laughs> doing like the digital look, the camo look, if it's not even really going to be noticeable, I'm not going to bother. I'm all about just getting it done at this point. <laughs> But yeah, for these these Eldar ones, I decided to kind of go with that dark blue and the uh, bleach bone to kind of accents. Uh, however, yeah, I think that for the rest of these models, I'll kind of go with this yellow and dark blue scheme instead of the, the, the beige color that we have here. But yeah, that's just a cool look at, at an older range of models. I think this guy's the captain. He has... Pretty much just a katana here and a shuriken pistol and there's one model that has a uh, I saw um, online in a catalog that has a ca um, like a headband <laughs> around the helmet and I was like I really want that model now I, I was looking through my models and I was like do I have that headband guy uh, I don't damn it <laughs> But yeah, these guys are pretty neat. I'm kind of debating if I want to uh, strip them, uh, which is to say remove all the paint from them and rework them in this style. Or shall I just keep them like this as kind of like a, a memory from times long past, times long gone, uh, innocent, more innocent days <laughs> of painting models as a ute, as a ute. So yeah, that's the Eldar Guardians, old models from the 80s. And now these are the new old models. <laughs> and we've got new guys coming up very soon, I guess. And I'm looking forward to that. All right. So I might as well show this really quick too. This is, um, these are some older same around the same vintage <laughs> as uh as those guardians that you saw before but this is like a weapons crew and these guys are tiny they're they might even be smaller than than these guys or they're just about the same size i guess but you can actually see that conical helmet still from this model and again, this is like something from the 80s, and then these are from like the late 90s to early 2000s, where they've kind of evolved the design. And they've gotten rid of the chainmail look here, because that just seems very medieval, I suppose, and not very futuristic. And this guy has a leather, a big, a big jacket. <laughs> but yeah, all these models are still usable to to some degree in in modern 40k it's just that uh, they have newer models that look a whole lot fancier <laughs>